You are now watching an excerpt from a Terrace podcast episode exclusive to our Patreon website. If you would like to listen to the podcast in full, head over to patreon.com forward slash Terrace podcast where you can unlock this show and thousands of hours worth of bonus content. Let's go to the most obvious one, the one that's probably hogging the most column inches, as they say, and Lawrence Shanklin. So we're going to rate these out of 10, how likely we are, we think they're going to make this move. So Shanklin's got 18 months left in his deal, Craig. He has been linked with Rangers, but of course, anyone could sign him. And with the form he's in, he is arguably, so it's certainly outside the old firm, the, the sort of cream of the crop in terms of available players. But do you think there was anything in the fact that he could actually leave Hearts at this juncture? I think it will come down to him more than the club. I suspect that there will be clubs who will meet Hearts valuation if they if they want Lauren Shanklin. But I think he's got a very difficult decision to make. And he's in that position because he is the informed Scottish striker at the moment. He is banging goals in left, right and centre. It's not inconceivable he could have a 30-goal season this season if he finishes the season off well. Heading into a major tournament with Scotland, he's got himself back into the squad. Is he? Does he stick or twist is basically his question. Does he stick at hearts? Know that if he does score those goals, he's probably travelling to Germany. But obviously it could dry up or it could go wrong. Or does he twist on moving to Rangers down south, but the money, the money will be better for him, but there's a chance he doesn't get as many opportunities to play and all of a sudden... He's not flavour of the month anymore and he misses that tournament. And I think it will come down to him as to how how much he values that international tournament versus the opportunity to play for a bigger club or, or make more money, basically. Because the, 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 you're talking about these sort of like, well, he won't, this sort of idea when, when it comes down to him. There's also the idea that I feel like if he sticks at hearts with this, he's guaranteed in the squad. But if he was to go to Rangers and do what he's doing now, he could almost put himself in the starting 11 in Germany. I just feel like, rightly or wrongly, and we go through this all the time when we talk about valuations of players as well, but if you're banging in 30 goals, if you bang in 15 goals for Rangers in the second half of the season, maybe a few in the Europa League, they, they, they'll just be valued more than they will at, at Hearts, and you would feel the groundswell of opinion would be that Shanklin would go and actually play. And I feel like... Well, there'll still be people who want that to happen and people who think it should happen. And I would listen to the argument, to be honest, uh, with the way that he's playing just now. I just didn't. I, I just wouldn't be able to picture him starting as a in the Euros as a as a heart striker. And that's just. And these are sometimes just the way things are. Yeah, and I think he's got a lot to do to to dislodge. To be honest, the two, even though the two guys that are you know the, the clear first choice strikers for Scotland. Neither of them are in particularly good club form. I have seen Shea Adams linked, linked with a move to the Premier League today, which would be good for him in the last six months before the tournament. Nonetheless, they have come up for Scotland consistently. So it, yeah, you're right, he probably does do have to do something spectacular to actually be looking at starting games. And maybe that spectacular thing is, yeah, moving to Rangers and scoring in a Europa League run and, you know, taking them all the way to the final again. You know what I mean? All that type of mm-hmm. stuff, but... I think it's a difficult one. I suspect he will be a Hearts player until the summer mm. and he'll go in the summer. I agree. I'd put this with a number at like a five out of 10 or a four. Mm. Like it's, it's, it would be perfectly reasonable to me that basically by the time we finish recording this podcast, it'll be like, oh yeah, there's a deal accepted and he's away. But I think <laughs> most likely it won't be. But uh, the other thing I think just Hearts would be in their position with the weakness of the other teams around them. You just feel like that third place in the European money's just guaranteed almost it feels like if if Shanklin was to stay you feel like it would be you just feel like they could have their cake and eat it with Shanklin here they could get him keep him to the summer get like he gets a big move off the back of the season and maybe a couple of run outs at the Euros they'll maybe get 1.5 2 million pound less than what they could get now but they're guaranteed all the, the European money I just don't think it's really worth it for Hearts to to risk it, I, I, I just don't see what the what the point would be. 